welcome to my video today so the reason I came up with the idea for this video to, is today is I was talking to my neighbor and she asked me if I could make a bow for a project she had and I thought okay yes I can do that but doesn't everyone know how to make bows I thought it was just a really strange question <laughs> so um, I decided to look up some bows, how to make them, which is something I would have never, ever thought of. Have you ever had those moments where you think, oh, I need, to, I want to just check this out, but it seems kind of weird that there would even be a video about it. So anyway, I looked up some different bows and there are some techniques. So I thought I would share a few with you today. So my first, um, tip for you I guess is so I have this box that just has all my ribbons in it um, it's gonna fall all apart on me <laughs> but I just get scraps of ribbon from everywhere people even my family and friends even save ribbon for me because they know I collect it and use it in all my projects and so you know, being in that box, it gets all wrinkled up like this piece. You can see it's pretty wrinkled. Well, a quick tip is take an old, or even your new one will work, but an old flat iron and put it on a low heat because you don't want to burn your ribbon. And just take your ribbon, slide it through there kind of slow well it depends you know on the ribbon if it's a really thin ribbon you might want to go a little quicker but just take it through there that's on a low heat and look how nice and straight it is it was you didn't have to hassle without with getting out the iron or, or the ironing board or a lot of people don't even have an iron anymore so that's one way to save all those scraps and be able to use them Okay, that's one tip. The next one is, and I do this all the time, it, but a lot of times I won't have a color of ribbon that I want for my projects. So there's two ways you can do this. One, if you have um, markers. This is a Copic marker, and I'm just going to take this broad side here and I'm going to color on my ribbon and look how nicely that does I'm changing the color of this ribbon to match a project and with the marker it dries really quickly so you could use it right away another way to color ribbon is to use an ink block um, and all you have to do with this is take your ink block and slide it across your ribbon. Now this looks kind of cool because I could stop there and I have this nice green but I also have a little bit of white on the edges so it gives it kind of a, a two tone there. I could probably color it more if I wanted but um, that looks kind of fun. And the, with the ink block, it takes a few minutes to dry. As you can see, I'm getting it on my hand. So that one you would just want to let dry for a little bit before you used it. All right, now let's get to tying some ribbons. So um, say you have a package and you want to put a nice bow around it. So you get your ribbon laid out flat and pretend this is your package and take and fold your right side over top. Okay, then take your left side and fold it underneath. And hopefully you saw that. Now the trick here is to hold it straight up like this, not crisscross. See how that's kind of bumpy and not really nice? So if you hold it straight up, you have this nice little square here and just take your finger and hold that square and then make 
a bow on this side. Take this, wrap around, and through. I'm sure most of you have probably done this before. Then, after you can just kind of play with it and see which way it wants to lay. Sometimes it wants to lay different, but just, you know, just fiddle with it a little bit and make it nice looking. Then, if you want to trim your edges to make that little pointed edge, I don't know if it has a name or not, what you're going to do is fold that, fold it in half and then take and cut the side that's open and cut it at an angle. And that gives you that nice little edge there. I'll do that one more time. So you fold it in half. Then you take it on the side that's open and cut it at an angle. And these aren't the best cutting scissors. <laughs> I just grabbed some right here. So anyway, there you have a nice little bowl for your package or an envelope or a stack of cards, whatever you're going to do with it. All right. So moving on, let's do, okay, let's do this. So You've probably seen a lot of times you get an invitation and there's uh, most most time it's a piece of vellum that's attached to another piece of um, pattern paper or something and they've tied a knot in it and everything. So the way you're going to do that is first of all you want to do measure and put your circles so that they're even. So I have this nice little board here that has my marks on it and I just lined my paper up. Then I kind of eyeballed where I wanted my holes to be and I found the center of my paper and marked that. Then I went a quarter of an inch on the right side, marked it, quarter of an inch on the left side, marked that, and took my hole punch and put the mark right in the center of my hole punch and cut it out. That's how I got it right in the center and my holes. Now. Let's take our ribbon, take one end and put through the left hole. It probably doesn't really matter, but that's the way I'm doing it. So then take your other end and put through the right hole. Okay, it has it looks like that. Then on the back, you're going to cross them over each other and you're going to bring them back to the front. So you're going to Take the, this piece and stick it back through your hole that way and the same with the other side. All right. Now, I'm not going to cut this because I'll waste all that ribbon, <laughs> but then I would trim, cut it and trim off my edges and have a nice little bow there. All right, so if I if I'd have made it smaller on one end, well, I could I can do that. Just adjust it, pull it through like that. Okay, that will, we could do that now. There. Now I can get a better pair of scissors and just trim my edge there. And you can do the other cut that I showed you first, or you can do this cut, and there you have a pretty little knot that would hook two pieces of paper together, or however you want to do it. Now I'm going to show you one more way, and we got to do the same thing. I didn't mark my holes yet, so I'm just going to line up my paper, figure out where the center is, um, put a mark there, and then go a quarter of an inch on each side then punch my holes can you see I don't know if you can see that marks right in the center there where I punched my hole punch the other one 
So this time, instead of just making a knot, we are going to make a bow. Um, where did my ribbon go? Uh, oh, right here. Okay. So we start off the same way. Put one side in one side and the other side in the other side. Kind of make sure they're even and cross them in the back. So we start out the same way. So we're going to put this side back through again. And this side through back through again. We have our nice little knot. It's crisscrossed in the back. Now I want it to have a bow rather than just a knot. So we're going to stick it through the same side this time. And instead of pulling it all the way, we're going to decide how big we want our bow. And we're just going to leave it at that point. And do the same on the other side. Okay, so we have two little bows now. But we got to finish it off so they don't come apart. So we're going to cross them in the back again. And stick it through the opposite hole. Now if it starts getting too full and you can't get it through your hole very well, a quick little tip is just take your scissors and kind of push through there and it'll go through really easy. But if you make your hole big enough like I did, then um, you shouldn't have any problems. Okay. So now we have a cute little knot with the bow. And there again, just trim off your edges. All right. So there's two fun little ways to decorate your cards or gift. Now, the next one I want to do is... Um, let's show you a single bow uh, right here. So to make a single bow that you can just lay on a card or on the top of a gift, if you don't want it to wrap around like this one did, what you do is make your first, first loop, then you bring the long end around your two middle fingers and Let's see, I went the wrong way. So you bring it around the bottom and then you cross it over. So let me show you again. So make your bow, bring them, wrap them around the bottom and across. Then grab onto that with your um, pointer, no, your middle finger and your thumb and you have this bow and this, um, we'll just call it a circle for the moment. <laughs> so then you're going to take the rest of your ribbon and you're going to put it through that circle. Now you got this kind of big wobbly thing going on here. But make sure you hold on to your ends because you don't want them to go through and start pull, pulling those two circles. Now that's a really way big bow there, but we're just going to play with it a little bit and make it more where we want it. Nice. And and you just keep playing with it till it gets nice and tight in the center and you have a nice little bow. Now you can turn it back and forth and decide which side you like better. I actually like this side better that was the back first. And then again you can cut your edges either fold it over or cut it at a slant. And there's there's that bowl that you can just put on something. Okay, I think I have one more that I'm going to show you. Um, and that is how to make a triple bowl. And what would be really fun is if you had some different ribbons and you wanted to tie them all together and do something um, kind of antique-ish with it. So let me see if I, let me iron this one really quick. Okay. I'm not going to iron that because I think it might melt. 
So let's take those two and let's find one more piece here. Okay, that will work. So what you do is you lay all these together. And this one's kind of folded over because it's really wide, but this will turn out nice. So then you, you lay all the pieces on top of each other. And see, this came off something that has something stuck to it. <laughs> But now you, you kind of do the same thing as we did on the last one. So first you make your loop here. Then you take all the rest of it. Make sure it's still laying on top of each other. And wrap it under and over. And these are really short pieces. So this is going to be a little more difficult. But it will work. You put that through there, and you have this big blob again. <laughs> so, um, that would be really, well, I, let me let me try it one more time, see if I can make it work. Because it would be really cool looking if you can, uh, I really need more ribbon. I keep going around the wrong way. Cross it over. Push it through that loop that you just made by crossing it over. And sorry, I got off camera there. And oh, it's not going to work. Those are too small. So anyway, let me show you with these that I had out already. So they're all laying on top of each other. Um... You make your loop, bring this in front and over, cross it, so you have your loop there. You hold on to that with your thumb and your finger, push that through, and then fiddle with it again like you did the first time. And then you have all these, you just kind of pull them apart make them look nice and if you had something like I was trying to do here then you could cut them at different lengths and it would look, it would just look really nice with different lengths and different uh, pieces of ribbon all together okay now I have one more to show you and that is when you use a patterned ribbon that only has a pattern on one side so you see this is plain and that's got a pattern so what you want to do is you do the same thing. You start with your loop. You wrap this around and over. And then you're going to you're going to put it through your uh, other loop there. But you want everything to face. You, you want your pattern to be all in front. And so as you can see there. You just kind of fiddle with it, twist it in the back so that everything's facing, your pattern is all facing forward. So I got my loop, this pattern, this pattern, this pattern, this pattern. So all that's not patterned is the centerpiece. And then you just pull that in there and, and work with it. And then you would have a nice patterned bow as well. So that was all my uh, different ways to make a bow for you today. Um, I hope that was helpful. I would have really liked to have made the this one, <laughs> but it wasn't. It all my pieces were too small, so it wasn't going to work. And then you know, remember if you need to color it and if you need to iron it, then there you go. So I hope that was helpful. Please like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about anything else, please let me know and I will do my best to uh, make a video for you or answer your questions. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Go out there and do some crafting.